Can we talk? Uh, let's go over here uh, and talk no, about there the. There was also uh, a question about uh, does the scar start in the cold weather? Uh, Scott wants to talk about the Scott. testing that we've done. Okay. Yes, uh, our testing we go up to Thompson, Manitoba. Um, we test down to as low as negative 30 degrees F. Um, block heater is not needed until less than negative 20. However, we have tested without block heaters as low as negative 30. Uh, one of the which is exactly the temperature here in Dearborn today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. recently, right? Um, one of the unique things with a with a hybrids um, and a continuously variable transmissions, um, you don't have clutches. You don't. You're not expected to shift at those temps. Right? Let, um, yeah. Let's go to that. Let's let's talk about this. Come on over here. Tell me about this. This is the battery. This is right. This is the battery that is in that 2010 Ford Fusion Hybrid, and it is. And, and let's go over here and show you this battery. This is the battery that is in the... the Escape uh, Hybrid today. Uh -huh. And yeah, as you can see... And this see, has right? been an incredible battery for Ford Motor Company. Absolutely. And they're both on nickel and metal hydride mm -hmm. technologies. But as you can see, the size of this battery versus that, we've reduced the size of the battery because... Let's, yeah, go back. Can, can, just go back just and forth. And Would you west and show us and the difference? The reason, the this, is, this is the, the fusion, fusion, and this is the escape And over pipe. here, yeah. this is the uh, escape pipe. And this is, and so this was like a leapfrog of a generation or so of technology. Could, am I Yeah, absolutely. Right there? And what we've done essentially is we've improved the cell chemistry in these batteries, where you can get 20% more cell power per cell. And these cells are more heat tolerant, so our calibrators can use the cells more than we were able to use on the Escape. The second thing is, as you notice, we don't have a dedicated battery cooler like we had on the Escape. So in other words, this, car, this battery is being cooled by the air drawn from the cabin, and batteries generally like to be at about the same temp temperature as most of us like to be in the cars. So we're able to take advantage of that and use the cabin air to cool the battery. We have a transmission over here. now. I wouldn't have even known this was a transmission had you not told me, I'm ashamed to say. But this is uh, the transmission that is in... That's in the Camry Hybrid, actually. Okay. And this is uh, That's the... That's our Fusion uh, uh, Hybrid transmission, and we wanted to demonstrate that this is all in-house Ford technology. They look nothing like the Camry. And uh, if Chris or Tascal want to talk about... Yeah. Why, why is this significant? Uh, I'm going to move over here. The, Excuse me, Wes. I'm the walking Our electronics and the variable voltage controller are integrated into the transaxle itself, the assembly. Uh, I guess uh, the competition has theirs remotely mounted. Uh, another difference is we have a, different, a slightly different architecture as far as the, uh, how many axes uh, the gears are on. So it's totally a different setup, you know, same, same principle, same power split principle as other full hybrids, but ours is definitely unique from theirs. What's uh, the next step? Where are we going next? Well, I think, you know, a couple of things that, you know, this vehicle, like Let's I walk in front of the car again. It's uh, very capable in, to, you know, in terms of what it can deliver. From an EPA certification, we're at 41 miles per gallon in the city. And real world, actually, you can get much higher than that if you change your driving habits. So we believe that when people buy hybrids, they will learn uh, how to drive the car based on how much they understand the vehicle. So Smart Gauge teaches them how to drive. And so we're really looking forward to feedback from our customers okay. on how, they've, how they're changing their driving habits because we get that feedback today from our Escape Hybrid customers. It's all about what's up here, isn't it? The wetware. Okay. This is, did you know, it's uh, Ford Motor Company's attempt to show our latest technology, our latest people, and uh, let you ask questions and make comments. And, and this is Maggie with uh, some more questions or comments. I have actually, I have Two, two to three questions, okay. depending on, on how quickly we can get okay. through, through them. Um, the transmission, uh, I have a question from that girl who would like to know how much, does the, how much weight does the transmission add to the car? Well, um, what we've done essentially is uh, when you add components in the hybrids, you obviously take components out because you're deleting the gas hardware, the gas main hardware. The overall hybrid system is about 200, uh, 250 pounds heavier from our conventional gas engine. So we're, but it's an, you're adding in and taking out components. But that includes the battery itself, which is about 100 pounds, 150 pounds is where the battery is. So the net gain of overall system is about 250 pounds is approximately where the increase in overall weight of the hybrid hardware is. Okay, and then uh, another question for you. 
Michael, and mm -hmm. that is, do you work for Ford? Are you a Ford employee? No, I'm not a Ford employee. I uh, am an independent reporter, and I've done work for Ford Motor Company. I've done work for all the auto companies, the domestic auto companies, uh, over the last 10 years, and this is a gig. <laughs> Very good. And uh, finally, um, what percentage, oh, sorry, I have two more questions now. Uh, how is the electric motor connected to the wheels? How is it connected to the wheels? Yes. Did you want to answer that? Okay. Uh, All right, let's go over here. Uh, like I said earlier, there's two electric machines in this uh, transaxle. Uh, one is the generator, and it's mounted, it's basically connected straight to the, the engine. And then uh, in addition to that, there's an electric motor, a traction motor, that uh, we can basically split power between the generator, you know, taking it from the trans, uh, taking from the engine and routing it to the, uh, to the traction motor. So it's all uh, contained in this transaxle assembly. There's just two electric machines. So hopefully. It's coupled to a planetary gear system. I don't know if yeah. you already mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. Maggie, anything else? How are we doing? Is it, was that it? Do we have any more? We have, we have a question about the quantity of the 2010 Fusion Hybrid that will be domestically produced. And we actually have a colleague here from Ford Marketing who. You know what? We're going to bring him on right now. Okay. Let's uh, want to introduce me to uh, this guy over here. Come on, Dave Finnegan. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Thanks. Uh, yeah. We know now, why don't we shut this? It, it looks, it's a great engine, but it's got a great new front end here, and we'll talk about that in a second. We're learning about this right now. Uh, the American public learns about it tonight officially, right? Dave? Yes, we're very excited to uh, actually tell people about the Ford Fusion and the new Ford Fusion Hybrid. We're leveraging opportunities, uh, and we'll be starting that tonight with American, American Idol. Idol. Yeah, okay. And, and what's your message? What are you saying? Well, we really are looking to challenge uh, people's perception of Ford Motor Company in terms of uh, you know, what they think about the, the company in general uh, in terms of our products, our cars. And as you can see, this beautiful new Fusion available in, as we see right here, a Fusion hybrid as well. Educating people about the fuel efficiency story with Ford Motor Company. You have the most fuel efficient mid-sized sedan in America with the Ford Fusion, either the gasoline model or this, the hybrid model that gets 41 miles per gallon. I'm just thinking of uh, some of the other comments that the reviewers I've read on Google search on this car, that no compromise, they've used, uh, what other phrases? Like I said before, uh, besides best in class, a comparable to a six-figure uh, hybrid foreign import hybrid. Absolutely, I mean, we've I mean, we've been uh, very. Did you guys fortunate. break down, and cry when you saw these reviews, <laughs> or did you know it was coming? I mean, it's. Well, we were very confident in the product. The engineering team did a great job with it. We're very pleased with the reaction that it's gotten, and that just confirms our expectations of of exactly how good this vehicle is. We believe it, it is better than any other hybrid available on the market, and and some other journalists have have confirmed that and echoed that sentiment in it as well. And that's part of our message to really challenge customers' perceptions on Ford Motor Company. All right. Um, the, the campaign, the advertising campaign is called? Uh, it's called We Speak Car. Yeah. And it's designed to uh, tell people exactly the fact that we at Ford Motor Company, we understand uh, cars. We, and we actually speak the language of cars and what customers are looking for in cars. And uh, you're also going to have some contests, right? I mean, a chance to win these vehicles? Or well, absolutely, absolutely. That's part of our partnership with American Idol. Um, we uh, have some contests for customers. We have uh, also have uh, some contests in our digital, uh, in the digital realm with uh, around the um, uh, racing uh, challenge in NASCAR with the contest We Race, You Win. Uh, for the opportunity to go to the Homestead race uh, later on uh, this year and an opportunity to do a, a test drive with uh, one of the Ford uh, NASCAR drivers. Oh, we got another question?